Hey there, Leo. Welcome to your reading for uh, the middle of January 2021. Uh, we are just going to jump right in here and take a look at your current energies with this main spread. And then we are going to dive deeper with the Lenormand here and see what is coming up for you. You have this uh, happiness card with the Wheel of Fortune. This looks very positive here uh, for you, Leo. Did I say Libra? I don't know. I'm losing my mind today, but uh, Leo, let's see. What is going on for you? I love, love, love when you show up as yourself in the center position here with the sun. Uh, that puts you in a position of power and strength. That's pretty much the best position to show up in here, Leo. So I definitely like that. Um, make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising, by the way, as well, to get a full picture of what's going on for you um, this week or for the you know this month, basically. But uh, Leo, I would, number one, right off the bat, I would be very careful of anything that seems too good to be true. Nine of Swords, Seven of Swords with the devil showing up in your reading. Uh, again, don't be paranoid by this here. Leo, as I always say, you know, tarot should not be, should not feel like life or death or anything like that, right? You know, it's not, that's not what it's meant for. But what I would say here is that there could be a situation, um, you know, and I, again, I'm telling you this now because I don't want to forget. There could be a situation where you could be feeling a little over optimistic. I don't, and again, I don't think this is something Something you'd be paranoid for but maybe you're thinking about purchasing something or someone's trying to sell you something and I just feel there could be a little bit of over optimism here and again this doesn't have to be a bad thing I would just do your research if you're making any purchases same thing in love as well it's like this doesn't have to be a bad thing but I do feel maybe a situation needs a little bit of reality and we'll you know we'll talk about that in a minute you have this happiness card and you have the sun. So obviously a very happy energy coming in for you. I do feel like there could just be more happiness coming in for you. And uh, why? Because you have the four cups, the wheel of fortune and the hierophant here. It's like maybe you're finally attracting a true love into your life. You have the soulmate card here as well. So I do feel that maybe this four cups is saying that you've been experiencing a lot of you know toxic situations with the devil or maybe you've been experiencing just love relationships that aren't very good and i feel like this could be something like more significant something that makes you more happy uh, coming in for you here in this first position it's like you're manifesting things very rapidly here as well wheel of fortune represents luck and it's a card of you know your personal vision for your life as well but it can also represent manifestation. There is this uh, snake on the side of the wheel here, and that snake represents things that you are going to be manifesting into your life. It represents your vibes. And so I feel like you could be manifesting things very quickly, and you could be manifesting marriage, basically, into your life with the Hierophant. Now, this could also say that you have learned how to take control of your own reality with the Hierophant. And I do feel that for some of you. You have the Divine Matrix card here. It's kind of like a card of like everything being connected in your life. I want to get more detail on that. Yeah, that feel, a lot of people getting very similar energies like this of maybe doing things that they've never done before or encountering situations that they have never encountered before. You have the Uncharted uh, Sea card. And so it's like, I feel like as a collective, pretty much everybody, we are like stepping into a time where um, that we have never experienced before. We are stepping into an energy that we have never experienced. And I feel like there's a lot of opportunity in this uh, at this time you have the devil the sun and the six of pentacles i feel like you need to trust someone's actions here six, this is your answer to this whole row is the six of pentacles this basically says that you should trust someone's you know actions not their words with the six of pentacles and you know especially because the net of swords and the seven of swords are coming up here i feel like this could be just saying like trust someone's actions the six of pentacles is just like planting seeds you know it's like cause and effect as well it's kind of like libra uh, justice energy because he's holding this balance over here leo so i feel for some of you this is just saying trust that you know if if someone is putting in the work into a situation then great then you can trust it if they're just talking about it then no you can't trust it until you see some actions so i feel like you need to kind of trust what people do not what they say and i do feel there's definitely a need for you to pay attention to this i just get this story here especially in this row it's like you could be meeting someone 
in love. And maybe it could be a good relationship, by the way. It could be a Capricorn coming in for some of you. I also get um, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo. You always get this. Um, and I feel like it's someone who's rushing in. And it's like they want to move quickly. I feel like they're saying all the right things, but it's like they're not making a reality. You know, they're not bringing it down to earth. This, you know, this happens a lot in like long distance relationships, Leo. It happens a lot in, you know, times like COVID where we can't really be with the other person. Maybe, maybe we meet someone new, but we have to stay isolated or whatever. So it's like you could be talking to someone, but it's like there is a need to make it real and to not just create this fantasy uh, with this row right here. So I feel like there needs to be actions. Uh, for others, I feel this is like feeling very kind of uh, cheated by a situation as well. This sounds a very good card. I mean, it is you. It kind of says you're in a position of power, but the Six of Pentacles could say that maybe you're in a work or a business situation where you feel cheated, where you feel like you need to maybe make some sort of change here. So we're going to dig into that with the Lenormand. At the end, you have this soulmates card. So I do feel like there could be soulmate love or soulmates type love coming in for you, a very deep connection. But I also feel that this could be a person coming in for you who tells you that you're soulmates, but it's like there's nothing, you know, I feel like there's nothing to grab onto. It's almost like there's there needs to be more in this uh, connection. You have the King of Wands, the Eight of Swords, the Nine of Swords with the Seven of Swords, very stuck energy here. So uh, and this could be you as well, this King of Wands showing up at the top here. So I feel like you need to make sure that someone puts in the actions. Again, I feel like this is a lot of words going on here with this Nine of Swords and Seven of Swords. Definitely could be a very tricky energy here is what I would say to you, Leo. So I would pay attention to that warning there. You know, I would be careful of being overly optimistic about something as well. And, and, and again, I don't want to crush your dreams or I don't, you know, that's not what I'm about. I don't want to crush your happiness either. I feel like there's a lot of reasons to be happy. I would just say, you know, kind of keep things in perspective is what I feel like this reading is saying. It's like, maybe you're very excited about something in business. I feel like it's great to be very excited about it, but I would also keep things in perspective. The Six of Pentacles could basically represent certain disappointments where it's like maybe things are taking longer. Maybe in work or business, things are taking longer than you want. Maybe um, things aren't moving as quickly as you want with the Six of Pentacles. So I just feel like disappointments could be very uh, dis like extra disappointing with this reading, even though things are going in the right direction. So number one, no stinking thinking. Number two, I feel like you need to keep things into perspective here with this reading especially if you're working on like a project or a business, just realize you're going to get there. You're going to get to the finish line, just maybe not as quickly as you want. The Eight of Swords is also a solution for you here, um, Leo. It's like maybe you're working on a project or a business, and this card could say that you just need to stay open to other ways of doing things. Eight of Swords is being too close to an issue. It's like bumping right up against it and not being able to see anything around it. So if you're not experiencing you know, the progress that you would like at this time, the Eight of Swords really says, um, number one, that there are other ways of doing things. So just try something else, just that simple. Or it can even represent needing to find a person who knows more than you that could help you um, progress in a lot of ways. Uh, overall, really good reading, uh, actually, even with the trickiness here, because I feel like this is more just saying, you know, don't trick your, yourself <laughs> in something and make sure that someone kind of like walks the walk with the Six of Pentacles and you'll be fine. This is a really nice reading. Let's clarify it here, Leo, and let's see what's going on for you. Thank you for being here, Leo, by the way. I really appreciate it. Uh, make sure to drop a like on this video. Really appreciate all the likes and all the support. But Leo, you have the moon. Ooh, love it. The moon is a very good card. It is a card of your romantic fantasies here on earth. It is a card of manifesting um, your romantic fantasies. And that's not just love. That could be in business. That could be in work, anything. You have the lily. This is the queen of spades. I, it's funny that I was talking about Libra earlier because uh, it could be a Libra that's coming in for some of you as well. And you have the Eight of Spades. Eight of Spades is like needing a break, needing a vacation. It's called the garden, and it can represent a harvest, but to me, it can represent needing a break, needing a vacation, needing to take some time for yourself. This Eight of Hearts is a card of like needing to manifest your dreams on earth. The Four of Cups, it's like you are manifesting things in your life at this time, but I just feel like it doesn't look exactly how you want. It's like maybe you are manifesting job offers if you need a job, but it's just like they're just not perfect. You know, I feel like they're just not right. Same thing in love. It's like you're probably manifesting love offers. You could be manifesting tons of matches on Tinder, whatever you use, but it's like they're just not right. There's something off with this devil energy going on here. So it's like, I feel like this is what you're waiting for. 
Wheel of Fortune and the Sun with the bouquet, like someone coming into your life with flowers. This card is called the bouquet, represents like a bouquet of flowers, and I feel like that's what you could be waiting for, but uh, very good energy. The moon really says you need to manifest your dreams here on earth. I mean, it says you need to start working on some sort of dream. Uh, you have the seven of spades, the letter here in the middle, the seven of diamonds. Aries had a very similar reading. They had uh, both these cards, uh, but up top, I think. The letter in the birds represents communication. So I do feel like there is communication coming in for you. Probably new love, communication, five of hearts. Again, I would just make sure that this, if this is something new, that it doesn't get caught up in the fantasy here. There's too much fantasy in this reading. Not only that, there's too much fantasy in the astrology. Neptune and Pisces is fantasy. And so I feel that in a lot of ways, if you're getting into something here, it needs to be made real. It needs to be grounded with action with that six of pentacles. Um, the seven of spades and the this, car, this is called the letter. This is called the birds, the seven of diamonds. That is communication, but you know, it's like there is a need to make this real. Five of Hearts is a new relationship, so it's coming up with that Knight of Swords. I would just be careful that Seven of Swords. I really don't get lying, cheating, stealing there. You know, of course, some of you could have been dealing with a liar, cheater, stealer. I just feel like it's more talking about needing to make sure something becomes real uh, with that energy. For others, again, I feel like you need to trust your intuition. The Sun is your energy, very positive card best card in the deck, but the sun shines a light on something. It kind of can call our attention to something as well. And Leo, and I feel like this is saying that you need to pay attention to your attention, plain and simple. The eight of swords could say you're very stuck, but it's like maybe your intuition, seven of diamonds and the sun is telling you to go over here. Maybe it's telling you to, maybe it's telling you to do something different with your life. And I feel like that's what you need to do. Now let's pull an outcome. You have the six of clubs. Yeah, a lot of people dealing with burdens at this time, the Six of Clubs is called the Cross, and it represents having a cross to bear. You have these Three of Diamonds. Be careful with your paperwork. Three of Diamonds is very specific. It is a card of problems with your paperwork, and it just says double check anything important that you're doing. There's too much weirdness going on in your reading here, Leo. I don't really do warning readings and, or drama readings, but I would say this whole reading is a warning. I, I, I think it's a good reading, but I feel like it's also saying pay the frick attention this week with all this energy because I just, or not just this week, I would say like through February. Um, you know, I know this is a mid-monthly reading, but I would say for like the next month and a half, I would just pay attention to everything you're doing. Make sure things are, and again, this doesn't have to be that dramatic. It doesn't have to be that big of a deal. The Six of Diamonds just says, or the Six of Pentacles just says, you know, make sure that something you're doing is legitimate. Make sure something you're doing has action behind it, whether it's a person or a business or a job that you're doing. Make sure it actually walks the walk, not just talks the talk. And it will be obvious with the sun. You know, that's a beautiful thing about this reading is that it will be obvious what you are dealing with. Uh, so just do that. But again, three diamonds, be very careful with any important paperwork that you're doing. Bottom row here, trust yourself. The two of clubs. Two of clubs is you and your higher self. It says, listen to your inner voice and you will be very successful as well. The moon, the seven of diamonds, and the two of, two of clubs, you and your higher self. I feel like you need to listen to your higher self in this reading. This is also you kind of you know, maybe convincing yourself to do something. It's like that moon energy could say you have very wild dreams or things that you want to accomplish. That seven of diamonds, you need to trust your intuition to make it happen, even if you feel a little stuck. And this two of clubs is like needing to talk yourself into something, needing to make it happen. Yeah, you have the eight of clubs here. This is called the mountain. Everybody's had that card this week. The 10 of diamonds, you always get this. 10 of diamonds just says learn. And um, it's a card called the book. And it just says, if you learn as much as you possibly can, you will be very successful. And so it's a card of learning. It's a card of hidden or secret information, but it's not like secrets coming out from a person. It's more like finding information that helps you move forward in your life. So that's that. And you have these six of spades. It's called the tower. It's a card of isolation. You know, it's not like the tower and the tarot. You know, it, it just kind of represents isolation or feeling isolated, but it's a card of guidance as well. So I feel like you can trust your own inner guidance. If you're looking for love, definitely could be a soulmate uh, coming in for you here. I feel like you'll meet this person either through socializing or through some sort of risk. Two fives. This is uh, 41, reduces down to a five. Um, and you also have the Hierophant five and the um, you also have the five of hearts here as well. Fives to me are cards of taking risk. So I feel like there could be some sort of risk involved in finding a soulmate. And we're not talking about taking some sort of unnecessary risk. I always get some comment from some joker who's like, how dare you? 
suggest that people, you know, do X, Y, and Z and all this other stuff. I'd be like, go back to living in your bubble, okay, and leave every, all the Leos alone who are actually willing to take some sort of risk. What I mean by a risk, if you're, if you're living in a bubble, right, and you don't understand what that means, this could mean putting yourself on Tinder. That could be a risk for you. This could mean uh, putting yourself on a dating site or something like that. This could mean putting yourself out there. It could mean asking a friend. It could be asking a person out. But I do feel like some sort of risk could lead to like a soulmate. So I would go for it. It could be a Capricorn coming in for you. Uh, Capricorn, Libra, uh, Taurus really stands out to me here as well. But again, it could be any sign. This is just a general reading. Uh, I really like this. I would pay attention to the warning that I gave you here about double checking things, making, making sure things are legitimate with the Six of Pentacles. But all in all, uh, this is not bad. So thank you for watching, Leo. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you this month. Also, feel free to like and subscribe. Really appreciate all the support. But thank you, Leo, and definitely enjoy the rest of your month.